I swear I missed the Saturday chill But now I'm grown, gotta pay bills I used to play in late station every now It's hard to stay still Using all my time to climb the A mill Lucky Charms was my 8 a.m. meal Or cinnamon toast Honey nut smacks and Cheerios Was filling my boat Eyes glued to the telly It was Ed, Ed, and Eddie But can you lower your voice Cause I'm missing my show Left Waking up to some homemade food Yu-Gi-Oh! at 11, Beyblade at noon Hit the Mario Kart when I had GameCube Got me feeling like a chemist by the time it was two Mix up the cereal, textures are critical For its taste to be right at this pinnacle Watching Hey Arnold and Dragon Ball Z Watch me shine with my pebbles through the time What's up everybody, it's your man Random Man Definitely Amazing.com It's Random Man it's Saturday, people. That means it's time for Saturday morning cartoons and cereal. Season four. It's season four, people, and I have been stalking this young lady for a very long time. She's probably annoyed. She's probably like this guy. So she just came to do the show because she got tired of me asking her. Um, I'm here with music royalty today. This lovely young lady hails from the great. City of Harlem. Um, she is the, well, I'm going to coin this phrase. She is the princess of soul. She's the beautiful, the amazing, the talented from Harlem, Miss V. No Love. Hey, hey, y'all. It's Vina. How, how you doing? doing? Good, how are you? I was going to wear a pink shirt to match you, but. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, know, so which, didn't so know which mean I was going to get today. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to talk some cartoon theories. We're going to eat some cereal. I still got silk. So scrubs for me. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to sit down and eat some cereal, talk some cartoons, and talk about the career of being in love. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Let's sit down. What's up, everybody? It's your man, Random Man. Definitely amazing.com. Um, like I said, I'm here with uh, music royalty. Now, if you don't know, if you've been under a rock, or whatever other euphemism they use for that stuff, um, then chances are you don't know that Vina Love is the wonderful daughter of DJ Kickapri. Mm -hmm. But we're not here to talk about DJ Kickapri. <laughs> I love I love I love DJ Kickapri. I mean I sh I'm a huge fan of DJ Kickapri. I'm not here to talk about him. So for the rest of this lovely interview. We're not going to mention the names Kid or Capri, <laughs> unless we're talking about Rugrats. Gotcha. And there's no Capri in there. So. <laughs> that, that's cool. It's cool, Jim. Cool with me. It's not about him. It's about you. So, um, are you ready? Yes. You ready for this? Yeah. We, uh, we're, very, we're big fans of yours. We love, we love a lot of the stuff you do. Thank you. Like, I appreciate it. <laughs> like, I was listening to the air, like, banging air out all the time. You were my uh, go-to-work music. Hey, that's good. Has that feel good, yeah, good mood. Yeah, yeah. Until I got to work. <laughs> then, the, then the mood left. Um, so we're, we're here to talk about cartoon theories. Um, mm -hmm. We're here to talk about some of these crazy things. But the funny thing is there's way too many of them. Yeah. Um, but I only want to talk about three theories today. Okay. One of them you know very well. Yes. We already talked about that. But there's one that kind of hurts my heart every time I think about it. What is it? So um, Winnie the Pooh. Ever heard no, of Winnie yes, Pooh no, I know it is so sad. It is so sad. So, apparently, we've been watching a show about mental disorders, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is not as sweet as you think it is. Oh my gosh. Um, and now with the new Winnie, with the new Christopher Robin movie coming out very soon, no. it kind of makes me wonder. If, so, because Christopher Robin has this new movie coming out, and, I know. And in the movie, Christoper Robin. He sees Winnie the Pooh for the first time mm -hmm. in a while, on a while, which makes me even further exactly. believe that these things are real. Exactly. So uh, apparently, Pooh was an impulsive and obsessive um, <laughs> mental disorder person. So impulsive because he did only things by impulse. Obsessive because he obsessed over honey. Mm -hmm. um, all of that makes sense. All of that makes sense. Think about it. All of it. And then Piglet. I know. I know. You kind of, I, I bet you have a soft spot in your heart. I do. And I'm not just saying this because the pink hair, but I bet you have a soft spot in your heart for Piglet. I do. Piglet had anxiety. Yes. Half the world has anxiety, so that sounds that sounds. But horrible. like, when you look at the characters, like, it makes so much sense. Like, it's, it's, like it seems like this is actually true. Yeah. Uh, for sure, with this next one, 
because Tigger had a ADHD. Mm -hmm. yep. If Tigger didn't have ADHD, then all those kids that they said had it when I was growing up, they didn't have exactly. it Exactly. <laughs> and ER was like a... Uh, it's a manic depressive. Yeah. That's it's the so saddest sad. part of that. Like, it's so sad. It's so sad. It's like, mm. Yeah. That's like, wow. But now, can I get further? Because you Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, Here comes a logic it, fact. It's actually a logic theory conspiracy. Okay. The only person who could see him was Christopher Robin. Yeah. What if these were aspects of his own? They were. Yeah. That's, that's what the, that's what the yeah, whole thing that's is. That's what they're saying. That's because that's he was crazy. the one that went in the tree and they were all exactly his uh, play toys. But like here's his, something his even memorable. sadder for you. In the new trailer for Christopher Robin's movie, his daughter sees them. <gasps> Yo. I can't do this. <laughs> She's like, I can't do this. This is too no. much. Let's <laughs> open up some cereal. I have my emotions right wow. now. This is too crazy. <laughs> V Vina, Vina. All right, so here's what happened. Like, so I was hitting up, you know, the person that handles your, you know, your bookings and all mm -hmm. that, and they they hit me up and they said, yeah, yeah. Um, she picked her, she picked the topic. I said, like, okay, did she pick her cereal yet? No response. <laughs> so it was a while. So really? Then, so what happened is I had to hit you up in your live. You do you remember me being in your live saying what cereal you wanted? Oh, that was that was you? me. Yes, that was me. <laughs> That's funny. That was my way. That's of really saying, funny. That was my way of saying, why did I take this all the way out of the box? I don't know. <laughs> Screw the box. Um, that was me saying I couldn't get this. Uh... You were looking for the prize. That's the only time that came out. <laughs> right. You were looking for the toy early. I'm going to let you pour your poison. You going to be mad at me if I don't want milk? You going to be mad at me? I'm going to be a little bit mad because I went searching for your 2%. <laughs> I'm scared of the milk. <laughs> you don't have to have the milk if you don't want it. I'm scared. Are you going like, to you're gonna finger food it? Yeah. I'm down with that. We've done we've been on the show before. In fact, we had a person that ate Captain Crunch without milk, which is dangerous. He eats this with no milk. He doesn't like milk either. That, that that's a little that's a little safer. A little safer. Captain yeah, Crunch without milk. milk is like trying to kill him. And you. then he don't really eat no other cereal at all. My brother's very like picky. I love all cereal. Pops, fruity pebbles. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about your brother. Since your brother's here, I'm gonna say this to him. You can't be picky about cereals with, 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 with your hair that color. You can't do that. <laughs> you're supposed to like everything. You must like everything. Because <laughs> you, you give off a wrong thing. People are uh, going to be like, they're going to be like, he picky? Nah, he can't be picky. He'd be surprised. But he picky? Okay. He get burgers with nothing on it. With nothing. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> He's over here getting burgers with nothing on it. Um, I'm going to do some social media stuff real quick. Yeah. I'm going to reimburse you. I'm here with Vina. Love everybody. Um, next up on our lovely list of things, of, and none of this is lovely, but this one's actually cool. This one's actually cool. Um, you know Pinky and the Brain, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at that. Um, everybody knows the song. Pinky and the Brain. It's Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. Who was the genius, though? That's the theory. It I wasn't mean, the brain. It w I don't know. It's Pinky. The theory is that Pinky was always the genius, and that Brain, because mm. of the shock treatment he went through as mm -hmm. a mouse, mm -hmm. Brain was insane. Right, right, right. And Pinky was a little bit of a genius. That makes sense. But think about it: when you watch the show, didn't Pinky come up with like most of the? Yeah. Like he would come up with the answer to his questions, right there in the middle of the show, mm -hmm. and then That's true. and Brain would just like slide it to the side, not care, and then at the end it would always be right. You know what that reminds me of? Tom and Jerry, like, it seemed like um, the cat was, like, the one that was, like, like, he would he would be the one to get the mouse, but the mouse was the more strategic one. Like, right. that, he right. was the one who was able to get out of most of the situations and, like. Speaking of Tom and Jerry, there's a really funny uh, kind of sad theory with that one, too, that Tom and Jerry's name come from um, war. Uh, the Toms and the Jerry's. Wow. Uh, so we were watching Nazi propaganda. Wow. Yep, this is going to be one of those shows, guys. Why did they do this <laughs> as kids? As guys, did, somebody did they do this? Right now, like, yeah. Nazi propaganda. That's, you, you I know, didn't make the theories up, people. I didn't make the theories up. I just, I'm just following them. Somebody sitting there right now, like, what? Mm -hmm. Now they just Googled it. Like, yes. wait. And when you Google one, you see it mad at them. Like, there's so many of them. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be crazy. You'd be sitting there like, damn, my childhood was so depressing. We're going to talk about one more, and then we're going to go to commercial break. When we come back from commercial break, we're going to talk to Vina Love about her career. Because she got a career. Facts. 
Um, last one is the one that we know that both of us know a lot about. Um, Rugrats. Yes. It is the saddest thing. It's kind of like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, it is. It it's is. It's kind of like Winnie the Pooh. So, apparently, Rugrats, the entire show, was all in Angelica's imagination. Mm -hmm. Apparently, from this theory, this theory states that uh, Angelica, in order to cope with life, yeah. <laughs> she created these uh, fictional babies in her head. Yep. Um, Chucky, and they all had tragedies. Mm -hmm. Chucky died with his mom in a car crash, yep. which is why his dad is always so overprotective. Mm -hmm. Tommy was a stillborn. Mm -hmm. That's why he never grew. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is getting yeah. real deep, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And the twins were a projection of an aborted baby. Oh, my God. So, yes. <laughs> So yes, I picked the entire season to have all those fun topics and bring this one up for episode Yo. seven. Yep. Yep. I gave her the option to back out of this. She, he did though. He definitely did. And I was like, <laughs> and she no. said, no, let's do cartoon conspiracy. Let's do it. Because people tragic. don't people don't like I'm really into like um conspiracy theories. That's one thing I do go to Twitter for. Like if you <laughs> No, seriously, like if you hashtag um conspiracy theories, you're gonna see like great, like the craziest things ever. So I ran into like cartoon stuff a while ago, like a, like a year or two ago. And that one always stuck with me. I always remembered it. Oh, man. So when I saw the topic, I was like, oh, yes, I want to do this. I know what I'm going to talk about. So yeah. I'm still born on so I'm, I'm, yes. I'm still reeling over that. Yeah. Because That's crazy. That's going to hurt your feelings. That's going to make sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. It hurts your feelings, right? That's going to make sense because they did this for how many years? It's like, yeah, these, these, these are true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. going on? Yo. Yeah, makes you wonder when they did the Rugrats when they grew up. Yeah. Why? Why Angelica still was having these things? Because mm -hmm. she probably was going to therapy. Yep. Mm. Okay, that's enough of that nonsense. We're gonna so sad. <laughs> it's that just so sad. <laughs> it's your man, random man. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go to break. I'm gonna find something really, really cool, which will probably be an old school uh, cinnamon toast crunch commercial. Or, you know what? I got it. I'm gonna find an old school commercial. That deals with singing because I got Bam. a singer on. Bam. Um, because also commercial had great jingles. Mm -hmm. You could have been a jingle writer back mm -hmm. today. You think you could have pulled that off? Yeah. I think you could have. Okay. <laughs> it's your man Random Man. We're going to commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> We come back from commercial break, and I'm laughing because the people are like, "When did we miss? You don't, want, <laughs> you don't, you can't tell. You weren't here. You weren't here. You had to be here. Mm -hmm. We don't want issues with time warning. That used to be my joke. I used to tell people all the time whenever like I would laugh at something with a friend of mine, and they'd be like, "Yo, so what's the joke?" I'm like, "You had to be there." Exactly. Cause like, You're why are you here. in my business? Exactly. You see my shirt? It's not your business. This shirt is hilarious, by the way. Uh, so yeah, your your music royalty. Um, you've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you actually just had the, uh, the I guess, the greatness of going on Sway, mm. and you killed it. Thank you. Um, Sway asked you a question that brought me back to how I first found out about you. Mm -hmm. um, you've been doing this uh, music thing for a while. Yeah. You, as a kid, you were, you were a dancer. Mm -hmm. You also sung as a kid. No, you've been singing for a while. But in 2017, you came out with a string of videos. Yeah. A string of videos. Um, and one of them, like, caught fire. And mm -hmm. it was, you did a uh, rendition of Best of Me. Mm -hmm. um, Maya, Jay-Z, all that good stuff. Um, how'd that come about? That was, that was actually... 2015. That was way. So the like, video came out later. It was one of those. No, it came. They came out together. 2015. Okay. Mm -hmm. I read that. And one. And like, <laughs> like no, but then we put out like three more videos. 2017. Right. Like we we did come out with a lot of stuff in 2017. But 2015. That was the first video. That was the star of everything. That was the first video I ever shot. Like it was that year itself was hectic. I had just graduated high school, and I left John Jay. And I was like, what the hell am I about to do with the rest of my life? Right, right. So um, I met Millville, and we started, we started working together. That was the first. Well, we recorded another song. We didn't really like it too much, and we did this one. And then he came up with the idea with, like, the jerseys and everything. And I was like, listen, this is my first rodeo, so I'm just going to take your lead. You do it. We figure it out. 
So that's what we did, and it worked out really, really well. It went further than we imagined, and um, from there we just kept yeah. I mean, you guys, you guys had a, a string of like. Usually, I hate when people try to like redo uh, any mm -hmm. music that I'm a fan of. Logic knows I'm like anti reboot everything. <laughs> Well, don't 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 mess up a classic. Mm -hmm. but, so you ain't like that, you know, um, you know Taylor Swift. Earth oh, don't just don't get me started on that Taylor Swift summertime song. Yeah, you ain't you ain't. You wasn't feeling that, son. No. At Somebody should have called the cops on her. Oh my God. <laughs> the barbecue lady should have said, she's over here messing up summertime. Nah, barbecue <laughs> lady, I know who you're talking about. Nah, yeah. Yeah. When you said it before, I'm like, what? So we now, know, know, we now know that my jokes have went over <laughs> her brother's funny. head yeah. earlier well. <laughs> and now over her head. That's, that's the, the, that's the that's hilarious. Karen potato salad with Oh my God. Uh, Did y'all, I mean, because it's okay. terrible. We're not going to get into that. We're not here for her. We're not here for her, and we're not here for the other guy that we said is not gonna be named. <laughs> we're here for her. <laughs> um, you had a song that your first single, your first real hit single, mm. that became a a favorite of the man behind the camera, Logic, um, and then quickly became my favorite. Mm. But I found out on your interview with Sway that you edited air. Yeah. Yep. When it came to like finding people to do certain jobs, so much money was being spent. It was just like, well, why not learn to do it myself and do it my damn self? So I ain't got to pay for it. So I ended up doing that with everything though. Like my hair, I do my hair myself. I do my makeup myself. My mom dresses me. I direct my videos. I edit my videos. I write my music. I, we do all of that. So she is just yeah. taking the jobs away from millions of people. She yeah. is strong. <laughs> she, I mean, she has trumped you guys. I mean, I mean, not only that, and I think it's just also, it's you, you as an artist, you know what it is that you want for right, yourself. Right, so right, right. if you know how to do those things, when you walk into a room, can't nobody, like, you know, feed can't your nobody, bullshit. Yeah, like you can't nobody feed you, you know what you're doing, so you know, like, okay, no, I want this, I want that, I want this, and the third, whatever, whatever. Now, when I get to that position, where I'm rich and when you got the bag, yeah. When I got, when you the, got the bag, bag and you ain't gotta go get the bag. Cause I mean, I, I, gotta, I got yeah. the bag, but I mean, like the bag, bag. Oh, so you, so you want, so you want then, the extra bag. Yeah, you want, you want Scrooge McDuck bag. Exactly. Then okay, I could do cool. that. Then I, then I could like you know. But until then, I'm gonna keep directing my stuff. Right now, she got <laughs> launch pad bags. Exactly. Cause like launch pad. Yeah. He get the bag cause he worked mm -hmm. for Scrooge, but exactly. But he 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 worked for Scrooge. She mm -hmm. want that. She want that Scrooge money. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Or if, if I just read in the book, you really, really want that Richie Rich money. Richie mm -hmm. Rich got more money than Scrooge. I want the bag. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. But you got a you got a new hit. Yes. That is that I will show you. See, I, I like I like people to know the truth behind stuff I say. It makes me nervous. What was the last song you see playing right there? Yeah. Hey. So just so you know, what was when I just finished hey. listening to it, "Stay Mad" is a is a hit. Thanks. But, so. but 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 your mom was like, so, so I said after, yeah, I love "Stay Mad." She's like, I yeah, know I like what she it. Said. So yeah, I like it. It's a great okay, song, but you know, there's a lot of cursing yeah. on that song. I was like, oh god. Yeah. I was like, clear, clearly, that's mom duty right yeah. there. She's like, it's a little, it's a little too much. My cursing dad called anymore. me too. He's like, so um, I'm like, what? I already know like where he was going with the conversation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Capri <laughs> has no business saying nothing because I'm... That's what I'm let saying. Let me tell you something, like, Capri. That's what I'm I, saying. I said I wasn't going to say your name, but I'm going to shout you out for this. <laughs> I hope you see it, too. Most of the mixtapes I was listening to from you got me in trouble with my moms because it was exactly. cursing on it by the exactly. artist. So don't you even dare. Exactly. <laughs> I love Kid Capri. We should have, if, if, if you know what you should do? Get him here. You should get Kid Capri on the he show. He likes cereal, too, so oh, he drink God. that. So I got, I got a question for you, mm -hmm. you know. We can sit here and joke around for millions of years and all this good stuff. Because you're really, really cool. You're really, really down on I will say this about you. Um, <coughs> I thought you were giving her that, that sarcastic call. Because it called you sound real at first. I was like, yo, I was like, your brother is throwing you out of the bus. <laughs> I know for sure. I thought he said, room bus. Uh -huh. um, but the one thing that I wonder from you is a lot of times you get a singer who has this phenomenal dynamic regular voice and then they get on a track and they, then they got this other voice mm -hmm. that you hear that's their music voice. 
But for you, you have to a dynamic voice and you mm-hmm. use that voice like that's your that's your signature and mm-hmm. like you got this thing um, so, and, you know it bring me back to that that Tony Braxton era when Tony mm-hmm. used to oh mm-hmm. like Tony would sing stuff and you'd be like I know the girl down the street Kelly can't sing it like that <laughs> <laughs> but Kelly if you sounded like Braxton when you said I was breaking your heart you I probably wouldn't have broke your heart Kelly exactly but yeah like was that a strategic thing, or did you have like a time where you were yeah. like, "I'm working on voices"? You know what's so funny? <laughs> I like, in terms of like, um, my voice has always been my voice. I like this year, like a couple months ago, just started getting a vocal coach. So like all this time, I was singing and stuff, and it was just like whatever I knew how to do, like that's what I was doing. And like when I hear people say stuff like that, I just be like, "Damn," because. Before, when I would hear myself sing, I'd be like, damn, like, there's nothing different about my voice. Like, I feel like I sound like so many other people. And I'm just now starting to be like, okay, this no, is your you, voice. You have, you have a very unique It's a good sound. voice. It's a beautiful voice. Stop it. So, like, yes. to hear you say that, that makes me feel good. But um, it, it wasn't a strategic thing. This really just... Okay. I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm done with that. You know, not everything has to be strategic. Plus size, not a strategic oh thing. God. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this because I needed a thing. That's what that's what that's what the uh, that's what the loose tooth is for. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Man. Oh my goodness! You think this is bad? You should come to my comedy show. Oh God! Come on the knife. We are gonna have a blast. Um, Vina, what's on tap for the rest of this year? I, I mean, you just came out with Stay Mad, so mm-hmm. I'm not gonna try to like rush you and make you, you know, put um, on a whole new thing. But uh, honestly, I would love to tell you, but my life has been taking so many twists and turns. I don't know. So we just gonna see what happens. Stay on my Instagram. <laughs> That's where everything goes. Stay on the IG. Don't go to Twitter, cause I don't be there. Finally, um, she tells the truth. I'm telling the truth. She be on everybody else's interview, like exclusive. I'm getting exclusive. Don't go to Twitter. I'm doing your my time. This, this, this is you. This is you I've on, been on the last one. I'm I'm totally gonna be there. I'm totally gonna be there. And then mm-hmm. bam, like now it's not there. So if I get a tweet from you on Twitter, I know it's a catfish. <laughs> no. Oh, if you get a tweet from me, you ain't me. getting me, Romeo. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you gonna have me retweet this stuff. Buddy. Look, it's hard. <laughs> Social media. First of all, you got Instagram, you got Snapchat, you got Facebook, you got Twitter, you YouTube. It's still a social media kind of situation. Facts. It's so much like you know, Instagram. I feel like it's like a one shot deal. You got Snapchat there. You know, like it's it's easier. It's easier to. Snapchat was hurt when that when the Insta stories came out. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. There was somebody in Snapchat like. Really? Um, but anyway, everybody, look, uh, it's your man, Random Man. I have one last thing to ask you. Um, if you could be in any cartoon universe, haven't got to ask this in a while, where would you pick? Proud family. Proud family? You'd be in a proud family universe. You and me will always be tight. Family look at this. Every single day and night. <laughs> Even when you start to acting like a fool, you know I'm loving every single thing you do. I would love to be a proud family. Well, on that note, people, <laughs> I don't know a better way to end the show, people, than that. It's your man, Random Man. Um, you know, I do know a better way. Make sure that you're following her on her Instagram at, I love a little at symbol, Vina, and then that underscore thing that some people think is the other thing. No, it's not. It's, it's the underscore. It's, it's the button above that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that thing, then love. Vina Love is going to come across the screen, everybody. She made a random man, definitely amazing. Dot com. Saturday morning cartoon cereal. She didn't drink this milk. <laughs> we're, out, we're out of here, folks. You thought I wasn't going to mention it? Look at this. I went to the store for her to hey, shop Dad, right. I got to reimburse him. It's 2% because you can only find it in 2% of the store. <laughs> exactly. She mm-hmm. made a random man. We're out, everybody. Big lunch weekend, it was good for my soul Said the moon had the booze, I was overexposed I know, I knew this thing named cinnamon Every time I had a bowl, I filled it up with cinnamon Mixed it with that white gold, put a little sugar in I guess I had a sweet too